getting involved with the boats now. And the thing is, we've been instructed to tell people, which we normally do anyway, where the life-saving equipment is. On the roof, there's a 16-man life raft, and that's leased. So every year, there's a new one put in, so it's up to date, and it's got a hydrostatic release. There's an EPIRB also on the roof. If, it won't happen, of course, but <laughs> if there's a problem, that'll go off automatically. It's also hydrostatic release, and it sends a signal to a satellite, which sends a signal to a, 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 a land station, and then um, they notified exactly, uh, immediately, where, what your position is, and what the boat is, and what, it, what its uh, occupation is, and all that. There's two live rings. Everybody's got uh, hydrostatic release life jackets. They're the mandatory life jackets below, so there's at least 30 life jackets. Good. <laughs> Not many. And there's, there's five fire extinguishers. One is connected directly to the engines. It's a CO2 one. If there's a, a, a problem, an engine fire or anything like that, there's two fire flaps on either side there. They just get closed to starve the, the fire, uh, the oxygen getting into the fire. And um, that's about it. We've also a radio there that we just flick a switch and uh, it sends a mayday automatically and gives you a position and the description of the boat. So without even sending a mayday, by just flicking the switch, you've sent a mayday. Two things happen on a boat that you have to be aware of. Falling, people fall, uh, the boat's rocking, it's continually moving and they just forget to take a handhold. And the other thing is obviously hooks. You have to be careful. But other than that, you should be fine. There's no problem there. I suppose we better get on board. Good show on fishing out. Well done. Thanks, Thank Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Dabe, Blö Dabe. Das ist dann der ins Killer, oder? Uh, we're just coming up there for a few mackerel, Murray. Is there, is there any signs of them there? Over. Right, uh, anyway, we'll give it a try. We just need to get some uh, a bit of bait there. It's a good day for it anyway. Okay, good fishing. We'll hear you out. Yeah. Sunday's probably going to be quite good. So, Is it? Yeah. So it's turning around. It's no harm. I'm supposed to be sharpening tomorrow. So what we do? Just fab up here for you. Seven there today. But I didn't get my tags very late. I only got them about the 15th or something. John, we'll see if we can get a bit of say that again. Neil? There's four rods made up there for mackerel, so we'll see if we can get, pick up a few mackerel here now. 
Yeah, I'm going to shut it down. Okey-doke. Right. John, are you going to see if you can catch a few mackerel? Yeah, I'll get it. Danny's going to try for mackerel. Pollock. And, um... Oh, I'm from Pollock. Okay. Yeah. And maybe, Maria, you'd like to see if you can catch a few mackerel? Yes, I'll I'd show love you how to, to use but you're going to have to show me how to I will, fish. I will. It's not very <laughs> difficult, but I will show I've you. I've never done it before. Okay, once. No problem. You just have to be very careful of the hooks. Okay. okay? This is a... Shimano reel, so you just pull this right back yes. over the silver button, yes, and then just control it with your thumb and let it run down quite quickly, right? Okay, they're lures, okay, so the, the fish see this flying down, they probably think it's sprat or something, right? And the moment you hit the bottom, you have to um, wind up again because it's very rough, it's all rocks down there. So if you leave it down there, it will stay down there. Okay. <laughs> you won't be getting that up again. So that, that's basically what you do. Just wind it up and come up halfway or so and drop yeah, it again. There's only about 17 meters there, Danny. And um, we've got a load of mackerel here last night on the flood tide. And then you can well, just wind off the bottom and work it like that. And just keep and, doing that? Yes, and winding up again and dropping it. So whatever depth they're at, these hooks will go through them. Okay? okay. Do you want to try that? Yes. Let's see how you go. Okay. All right, that's the way. All right, there we go. He's got mackerel in here. Now what you do to release the... Hold it for a second, John. Hey, mackerel! Whoa! There you go. <laughs> Right. Wow, the first mackerel, eh? Look at those happy beauties. Right, do you want to have a go at that and I'll help him take them off there? He'll have to, he'll have okay. to, you, you can help. Uh, They're good ones too. They're nice ones too. They're a fair size, aren't they? Yeah, I'm on too. You in? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right, we'll have to get this going again. All right, now if you wind it up like that, okay, okay right up to the top, because usually they're quite high up in the water, right? Wind it right up to the top. Right, it's on the top now. Now okay. to release it, you just pull back that bar. Okay. Pull that right back over the silver button, right back. That's it. Now let it run down quite quickly. That's it. Oh, right. Okay. So, right. Stop it at that and just work it up and down now. So if you okay, push that, so forward, that forward, yes, and, and work then... it up and down. Yeah. yeah, they're on now. Wind away, mad. Wow. Wind away, mad. Wind Which away. Way? Yeah, that's oh, this it. Way? Yeah. Have they got a fish? No, no, you missed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> down, down again. Just pull that back. They hit it. You can see the tip of the rod as he went through them. Okay. Here we go now. Oh, no, no, one, one, two, one, 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 one,